Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have an interesting service call for a water storage tank. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a bit of a strange service call, kind of something that we don't really work on. A water storage tank. I do a lot of work in this building and they asked if I could help with this. So the idea here is that they want us to check the heat tracing system for this water tank as it's below 30 degrees out and they don't want any pipes or anything bursting. So they have some this interesting controller here. Let's see, this is made by a company called Raychem, the 910 series, all right, model C910-485. Just opened up this little waterproof enclosure, and I took this cover off, and this wire was just sticking out just like that, and the screw wasn't really on. This looks like a really, really bad connections here. Anyways, got a couple things going on here. It does show it's funny because in this video it shows output is blinking but it's not really the alarm is just blinking anyways we have a wire and dialer right here I'm gonna take a picture and show you guys all right so guys I uh, all right guys so I recommend you guys take a screenshot of what I just showed and follow along with me a and B is L1 and L2, it's our power input. Either 120 or 277, or that's just the range. Could be 120 or 208 here in the United States. Then C and D is the load output. Basically, this is a controller for the heat trace. I understand how heat trace works. It's basically this cable here. It just it wraps around piping and stuff like that to prevent it from freezing once it drops below a certain temperature. 32 degrees water freezes, right? 12 and 13 is alarm, 6 and 7 some kind of external input, 19, 20, 21, 22, it says TS1, probably temperature sensor 1, then over here 8, 9, 10, 11, temperature sensor 2, some kind of common A, B, and ground for op optional communications, and 14 for alarm relay. As far as here, let's see what we got here. This is A and B. Let me see if you guys can see. Let me take off my glove. It's real cold so I can see the screen on my camera. All right, so here, these two, A and B. These two, C and D. So the left two is my input power, my main power coming in. And C and D is my power going to the heat trace. The only thing else wired here is 20, 21, and 22, which is this cable here. And what is that? See that right there? That's a sensor. So it's sensing ambient temperature. Then I looked at this little heat trace cable and I don't know if you guys can see it. Does it say? But it says self-regulating heating cable. So there's a little sensor at the end of this heating cable that senses temperature. So basically this reads, from my understanding, it reads ambient temperature it gets cold. All right, it sends power to the heating cable and the heating cable does its job. Putting my meter to volts. We're gonna check between A and B, our line voltage, these two, A and B. And if you guys can see the meter, we have 120 volts, so we have a power supply. Is the sensor doing its job? Well, let's see, it's freaking freezing out here. The thing better be doing its job. Let's check between C and D. And we have 121 volts. I followed these wires. They go into this harness here this cable and it comes in through here do we have 120 in this strange little connection block yes we do then coming out of the connection block do we have 120 coming out feeding this heating cable yes we do okay are we pulling amps so i'm gonna go between on c on d got 2.1 amps that's d let's check c well, we got two amps I equals 2.2A. That must be the, it's re, it reads amperage on this control. I, 2.2 amps. T says 32 degrees, SP 40 degrees. So I'd say this sensor is reading 
32 degrees t temperature 32 degrees so it's going p i don't know is at a set point at 40 degrees the heat the heat trace comes on this engages so the load output you know goes through most likely that's what it is so it's pulling 2.2 amps the thing is how do we know what amperage is proper how many amps is 2.2 amps enough i'm not sure it's kind of low amperage but is that correct so what we got to find out is why is this an alarm because this thing is sending out power and the sensor is pretty much doing its job and then it just this uh this cable here takes over it's horrible connections we got to redo that but this thing is actually working in my opinion so far i just need to find out what is the proper amperage for this kind of cable as far as here We got two we got three wires red white green green's got to be ground as far as this only the hotline is actually connected and then some kind of metal strands this stuff is for ground How does this how does this change the circuit shouldn't this be 120 here like line and neutral i see only line is going to it but it's still pulling amperage okay guys look at this we got a red white and a green here for ground comes in through here red white green comes here red white green line neutral ground i'm assuming these two are connected these these two are connected these two are gonna these two are connected look at this heat trace there's two sets of wires in here and they all go into this one terminal which is only the one hotline there's nothing here there's nothing in there there's nothing for the neutral and then the ground to ground whatever this piece is which is like the stranding around here but as far as this heat trace cable what the heck oh as far as this heat trace cable we're only getting main power to it how does it complete the circuit and then what is this and we also got power the same okay so these three wires come here and then there's two wires each then it gets sent here into this box all right what is this pandora's box here oh, got quite some heat trace cables in here just one cable this is this is this is the heat trace so it comes in hold up it goes in through here goes straight out into here and then this is the heat trace cable that this feeds and this is probably this whole mess because as far as this heat trace cable clearly it's going all the way down there So I see a cable here and I see the cable here. So we got two, two heat trace cables. The thing is, what amperage? What amperage? I gotta look to see if there's some kind of model number or something on here. We gotta know, but these are self-regulating. So there's a thermostat built in it at the end. I'm trying to find a model here. Check this out. Self-regulating cable 8XL2-CR If you look on my phone right there 8L 8XL2-CR and showing 208 volts Did we lose a leg of power? Did we lose a leg of power? There's something short out is that was that what went wrong here? It says voltage 208 to 277 and that controller can be used for 122 to 77 we only got 120 did we lose a leg of power watts per meter 26 watts per foot eight okay but how many amps is that we got all types of equipment here cooling towers package units we have another tower here I think they mentioned this one's also an alarm. I think they lost power. Let me see what's going on here. 
climb over this beam. Where is this thing? It's also blinking alarm. T-35, P-40, zero amps. Some, what did it say? Something trip? Hold up. Jesus, man, what's going on today? No, so it's not pulling amps, something trip. All right. This feeds into here, and we got one, two, three, four, five heating cables here. Same thing, 8XL2-CR max, 277 volts, 32 amps. What's going on, man? Did they lose a second leg of power? Let me see something. What's the power coming in here? 120. Is there any power coming out? Nope. No power coming out on this one and it's an alarm. I'm trying to catch what it says. Something I F something trip. Hmm. So there's that first. Here's the first tower and the first controller working. I followed this electrical all going around. And where did it end up? In here. What a track on GPT 130. Look what it says. Where what the heck is going on here? Why is there so many controls on this thing? All right, guys, it is as I suspected. So I called technical support. I called Raycam themselves. Pretty interesting. Look, it says Pentair. I know that company for like water filtration. I guess they do stuff with this too. So it's pretty much as I thought. I gave him the model number of the heat tracing cable. That thing is supposed to be for 208 volts. We only have a 120 volt power supply. The sensor is doing its thing. It's sending power to the heat trace. But even though we have amps, this heat trace is for 208 volts. It's for 208 volts, so it can never actually work properly. We have no efficiency here. Some, we lost a leg of power or this thing was installed wrong to begin with or there's there's been some hacks here another thing i can tell you this is one heat trace cable this is the next heat trace cable coming in okay so one going this way one going down here then it shares the power into here this is one heat trace cable and then the orange is another heat trace cable going into here so these pipes this component and wherever that thing goes we have a serious issue here. This thing is not wired right. Somebody hacked this thing. Let me see, where's my meter lead? Like I was telling you, we got 120 coming in here. This is the hotline, comes down, feeds, thi feeds this one. This is the neutral, comes down and feeds this one. If you look closely, there's no wire on the neutral. So this heat trace and this heat trace are all just connected to the hotline. This thing is not even, these two are not even working. Okay, that thing is not even working. And you don't even have the right voltage. Who was here? Whose crazy uncle was here servicing this stuff? Like, oh, I could do it for five bucks. Yeah, well, that's what you get. And over here, follow this. This is a black wire, but at least they taped it green, so that's neutral. So, no, uh, I'm sorry, uh, ground. So let's pay attention. This one actually is wired right. Neutral hot. Hot comes in, feeds one line of this for that for this heat trace. Then it feeds the other the other line of this for this heat trace. Then the neutral comes down, feeds one leg for the for the other new, one heat trace, and the other leg here. You need two wires, line and neutral. You gotta complete the circuit. So these two are wired. So that's probably where we're getting those that amperage from. Okay. These ain't doing nothing. I followed that line and it went to the heat tracing setup over there. But I guess they're just sharing power from the same power source. But this is the heat trace control specifically for this cooling tower it's actually separate but they must be getting power from the same place so like stuff like this is feeding the heat trace box in here and there must be heat trace in here 
for these pipes so they don't freeze but they got a serious issue here something is wrong so i called tech support and i told them about the trip the, the, the other trip over there that we saw the gfi trip there was some kind of ground some kind of power issues and that would make sense as far as we don't have the right voltage surprisingly this one's doing its job but if you don't have the right voltage it can never work right so we need to restore the voltage or we need to put heat trace cable that's for 120 volts and obviously wire this properly this whole setup is junky man uh yeah that's a mess so we kind of kind of in a serious situation not considering it's it's really cold this thing is reading 32 degrees up here the other day was like 20 and we're talking about fahrenheit here some people watch from different countries we use fahrenheit here so wired wrong and we have the wrong voltage we need to either restore the voltage which is the only thing that makes sense because imagine ripping up all of this imagine ripping all, all of this up and redoing this with new heat trays oh that's a uh, it's gonna cost an arm and a leg oof and a torso <laughs> it's gonna cost you a lot so the best thing i could do is bring 208 to this controller reset the power and try again from there and see what's going on but it makes no sense to further troubleshoot this with this kind of mess this is this is a serious problem one for the history books and look how this just comes in through here you close the cover and it's just so sticking out like that this is a hack job and a half oh man side job sunday vibes jeez man <laughs> hey it's friday you know what i mean pipes are gonna freeze but we're gonna go home and play call of duty here's the controller that was actually tripped the gfi so something some kind of electrical issue i clicked shift a uh, test you can see the alarm here it said no alarm basically if i clicked enter i would be able to erase the alarm and i click monitor to go back so i erased the alarm temperature 39 degrees set point 40 amps i it's it's actually pulling nine amps now this piece is just open water could have been gotten got in there and trip things also this ground is not connected there so interesting i'm gonna do the same thing for this one shift red light came on click test low load low load is the alarm here click configure reset yes sir no alarms go back okay still pulling 2.1 amps two or four heaters are wired improperly and we have the wrong voltage but at least they got something for now there's no reason to further check the, the, anything else we already checked both but we can't actually do anything else further if we don't have the right power and nothing is wired right it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week i'll catch you all next time